Hello, my first graders. Today, we're working on lesson 11.5. That's page 657 in your math book. So find page 657 okay, and hit play when you're ready. All right, so two-dimensional shapes on three-dimensional shapes, okay? so. Remember, as we talked about our shapes, like for example, this cone up here, okay? When we look at the cone, we have our round side, but we also have our flat side, okay? So our flat shapes, okay? We call that our usually called 2D shapes, okay? The flat part. What shape do you see at the bottom of a cone? Yeah, a circle. Right? If I was to put this, this down and trace it, right? trace around the edge, what do I have? Do you see my circle? Yeah, so the flat shape on the cone right, is the circle. Okay? So that is what, that's our two, we call these 2D shapes. Okay, they're or flat shapes. Okay, 3D is like this, where I can touch it in my hand. I can see that there's many sides to it. Okay, when I look at this, right, it's not just the round side. I see there's a flat side here and here. Okay, when I'm with my rectangular prism, look at how many sides there are. I turn it all over, and there's different sides. Okay, so when we're talking about um, flats flat or 2D shapes, okay, we can think about, well, what can we trace? And we can only trace the flat sides. So on a cone, we see a circle at the bottom. Okay. Boys and girls, you don't need to put anything on this page, okay? If you want to just draw a quick circle, you can. If not, it's okay. Because I know you don't have these shapes to trace. All right. Trace around the flat surfaces of the three-dimensional shapes to find the two-dimensional shapes. So if we were to take my rectangular prism and I was to take each side and trace around it, here's the shapes that I would come up with, right? And we said before in another lesson, we talked about how the rectangular prism has six sides. In this rectangular prism, two of the sides have squares, right? I trace around them and I see my squares. And when I trace around the other sides, the long sides, they make rectangles. And there's the four rectangles I can make, right? Each each side, one, two, three, four. There's four sides, okay? So that's what it would look like if I traced it. Now let's think about our other shapes. And we're gonna think about what shapes could we trace around? If we traced around the flat surfaces, what shapes would we see? Now, sometimes like the rectangular prism, they might be a little different. Rectangular prism, we could have all rectangles, right? But we also said sometimes we have a square at each end. Okay, and we see that here. So there could be more than one answer. So here's a cube. If I traced around the flat surface of a cube, what shape would I see each time? What flat shape would I see or two-dimensional shape would I say? Yes, I would see a square. There's no triangles on here, right? No triangles, no rectangles. Can't be a rectangle on a cube. And there's no circles, okay? All sides are, flat sides are a square. Now let's think about the cylinder. Okay, what would I see if I trace the flat side of a cylinder? So remember, I can't trace the round side. I have to look at the flat side. What shape would I circle? What do you think? Remember, this side is round, so I can't trace that. See how it rolls? I have to do the flat side. What would we trace? What do you think? Yeah, a circle. That's the only flat side of a cylinder is the circle, right? I could trace here, I turn upside down, trace here, it would still be a circle. I can't trace here because that is round, it's not flat, right? So it's round. 
not flat. So the only one I would have is a circle. It would not be a rectangular prism because look, that is round. Look, it moves, see that? It rolls, it's not flat. Okay, and here is our rectangular prism. Hmm, we can help think about this. We, we looked at this, just looked at that at the top. What shapes do you see? What shape do we have here? Yeah, the square. What other flat? Look, that's a flat side. What shape is that? Rectangle. So we actually have two for this one. We have the we have the square, right? We see the square, but we also can see a rectangle for the rectangular prism. So now we're gonna look over here. It says circle the objects you could trace to draw the shape. So you wanna think, if I wanna make a rectangle, if you wanna make a rectangle, which of these shapes would you trace to make a rectangle? Could you trace a juice box? Do you see a rectangle on a juice box? Yeah. Juice box is in the shape of a rectangular prism, isn't it? The face is a rectangle, or look, you have the side that can make a rectangle. How about a book? Could you trace a book to make a rectangle? Yeah, do you see a rectangle right there, that flat side? Yeah, remember, flats, we're thinking about the sides that are flat. How about this, this thing of uh, tennis balls? Could you trace that to get a rectangle? No, right? That's the shape of a cylinder. Look at the top. You see the circle at the top? That's a cylinder. When you have a cylinder, is there any rectangles on a cylinder? No. This is, an, is a bucket. Think about a bucket. Look at that shape at the top. Can you trace a bucket to get a rectangle? No, because again, that's the shape of a cylinder. That side is round, so no, we could not trace it. So just the juice and the book. So we have to kind of think of two things when we're doing this. We need to think which one of our shapes is this, right? And think about the flat sides, okay? Remember, can't trace the round sides, only the flat sides. So I want you to try this one. Which of these shapes could you trace to get a circle? Okay, think which one of these items could you trace if you want to make a circle? Okay, hit play when you're ready to check. All right, what did you choose? The tuna can, right? That's a cylinder circle at the top. This roll, right? Do you see the circle at the top? Looks like a can like muffins come in. Or uh, crescent rolls. <laughs> okay. A cone. A cone has a circle at the top, doesn't it? Well, you could trace that. Yeah. How about the cereal box? Did you circle that? No. Rectangular prism, right? No circles on it. So these three could be circled because we see the circles. You see the circles on that, that flat side. So remember, you have to picture like a cone. Yes, I know that that is open, right? But when you think about a cone, there's that flat circle side, okay? You have to think about the object and then same thing, these cylinders. We know there's our flat circle. There's our flat circle, All right? Look at this square. Think which ones of these would you be able to trace to get a square? I want you to try this one as well. Which one of these could you trace to get a rectangle? Okay, hit play when you're ready to check. All right, you're hitting play, you're ready to check. All right, so this is a box. This is like a cylinder, right? You see the circle? Looks like a hat box, old-fashioned old hat box circle at the top. We couldn't trace that, right? You're going to trace that and get a circle. Think about that's the shape of a cylinder. We can't trace around the middle because that's round. You can't trace round. So 
not the first one. This block, well, do you see the square right there? We could trace that and have a square. So that one gets circled. How about this tissue box? Yeah, do you see the square, right? Yeah, we could trace that. So that one. And then look, the party hat, shape of a cone. Can you trace a cone and get a, can you trace a cone to get a, a square? No. Then you did this one, rectangle, right? Which one of these has a rectangle? Well, definitely not a party hat, right? We just looked at the cone. A sphere, no way, right? No flat sides at all to trace. This one, look at the top, only a circle, right? Think about a can, it's round in the middle, like our cylinder, can't trace that round part. And our box of crayons, yes, we see, look, the rectangle face. We could change our, trace our box of crayons just like I could trace my color pencil box, right? And get a rectangle. All right, here's our pyramid, which we haven't done. They haven't had much of pyramids as we've gone through. Let's think. So you can watch this math on the spot video if you want. It says draw the shape you would make if you traced this object. Well, there's one that you see right away when you look at it. What do you see right away if I was to trace this flat side? What's that shape? Yeah, a triangle. If you were to trace a pyramid, you would see a triangle. We know for sure part of what makes a period, pyramid a pyramid is because you see triangles on the side. Now the bottom, depending on how many sides, looking at this, it looks like there might be four sides. The bottom could be a triangle, but it also could be a square. There's lots of shapes that could be on the bottom, depending on how many triangle sides it has. But what part of makes what makes a pyramid a pyramid is that triangle sides. Right. When you're ready, you can turn the page. Right. Circle the shape that the pattern will make if you fold it and tape it together. So here's one of these shapes taken apart. Each part over here right, is from one of these pictures. If I was to fold this together, lift it and tape it, what shape would it fold into? So let's look at the flat surfaces. What shape are we seeing right here on each one? What shape is that? It's a rectangle, isn't it? Which one of these shapes would have a rectangle? Would it be the cube or the rectangular prism? The rectangular prism, right? Because what makes a rectangular prism a rectangular prism is because it has rectangles. So if I was to fold this together, it would make a rectangle, a rectangular prism. Look at this one. Whoa, each part of this shape. Look at shape. What is that? That's a square. Which one has squares all over, only squares? Would it be the rectangular prism or the cube? Yeah, the cube, the cube is one that has squares all over. That's its only sides are square, just like here. If I folded that up, it would be a cube. All right, think smarter. Key wants to trace a square. She finds these objects. Which object should she use? So which one of these objects would she use to trace a square? Would you use a globe to trace a square? No. A jar of peanut butter? Or a box? The box. So we're going to write box right here on the line. She would use the box to trace a square. Remember that jar of peanut butter Right? No, that's a cylinder, right? Circle at the top. See the circle? Round in the middle. The globe, right? It's a sphere. There's not even a flat side to trace. You could do that bottom, but that's a circle, right? And a box, right? It's like a rectangular prism. We can trace it. 
What would happen if Kai used the peanut butter jar to trace a shape? So if she used this peanut butter jar to trace a shape, what shape would she make? Remember, this peanut butter jar looks like a cylinder. If I was to trace this, what shape am I going to make? Yeah, she would make a circle. So we can say she would make a show them a circle. She would make a circle. All right. So my first grade, you can pause to finish writing that. Okay. When you're finished, you can go on Think Central and do your personal math trainer.